What's up guys? So for today's video, we are going to explore the theory of Sister Callista Roy, the adaptation model of nursing. Before we talk about her theory, let's know who is Sister Callista Roy is. Sister Callista Roy was born at Los Angeles, California, United States on October 14, 1939. She is a nursing theorist, a writer, lecturer, researcher, and a teacher. In 1963, she earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in nursing from Mount St. Mary's College in Los Angeles. In 1966, she earned a Master's degree in Pediatric Nursing from the University of California, Los Angeles. In 1973, she earned a Master's degree in Sociology. 1977 went on to complete a doctoral degree in sociology. She is also a faculty senior nurse scientist at the Yvonne L. Moon Center for Nursing Research at Massachusetts General Hospital. Now, let's move on to her theory. Adaptation Adaptation is the process and outcome whereby thinking and feeling persons as individuals or in groups use conscious awareness and choice to create human and environmental integration. Internal processes Regulator The regulator subsystem is a person's physiological coping mechanism the body attempts to adopt via regulation of our bodily processes, including neurochemical and endocrine systems. Cognator The cognator subsystem is a person's mental coping mechanism. A person uses his brain to cope via self-concept, interdependence, and role function, adaptive modes. The subsystem for adaptive modes Physiological physical mode Physical and chemical processes are involved in the function and activities of living organisms. These are the actual processes put in motion by the regulator subsystem. These modes' basic need is composed of the needs associated with oxygenation, nutrition, elimination, activity, and rest and protection. These models' complex processes are associated with the senses, fluid, and electrolytes, neurologic function, and endocrine function. Self-concept group identity mode. In this mode, the goal of coping is to have a sense of unity, meaning the purposefulness in the universe and a sense of identity integrity. This includes body image and self-ideals. Role function mode. This mode focuses on the primary, secondary, and tertiary roles that a person occupies in society and knowing where they stand as a member of society. Interdependence mode. This mode focuses on attaining relational integrity through the giving and receiving of love, respect, and value. This is achieved with effective communication and relations. There are levels of adaptation, which are the following. Integrated, compensatory, and compromise process. Integrated process. The various modes and subsystems meet the needs of the environment. These are usually stable processes. Breathing, spiritual realization, successful relationship. Compensatory process. The cognitor and regulator are challenged by the environment's needs but are working to meet the needs. Grief, starting with a new job, compensatory breathing. Compromise process. The modes and subsystems are not adequately meeting the environmental challenge, hypocia, unresolved loss, abusive relationships. Nursing process is a problem-solving approach for gathering data, identifying the capacities and needs of the human adoptive system, selecting and implementing approaches for nursing care, and evaluating the outcome of care provided. It includes the following steps. Assessment of behavior. Assess the behaviors manifested from the four adoptive modes. Assessment of stimuli. Assess the stimuli, categorize them as focal, contextual, or residual. Focal, those most immediately confronting the person. Contextual, all other stimuli present that are affecting the situation. Residual, those stimuli whose effect on the situation is unclear. Nursing diagnosis. 
make a statement or nursing diagnosis of the person's adoptive state. Goal setting. Set a goal to promote adaptation. Intervention. Implement interventions aimed at managing the stimuli. Evaluation. Evaluate whether the adoptive goal has been met. Nursing. The goal of nursing is the promotion of adaptation for individuals and groups in each of the four adoptive modes, thus contributing to health, quality of life, and dying with dignity. Person. Human systems have thinking and feeling capacities, rooted in consciousness and meaning, by which they adjust effectively to changes in the environment and in turn affect the environment. Health is defined as a state where humans can continually adopt the stimuli, because illness is a part of life. Health results from a process where health and illness can coexist. If a human can continue to adopt holistically, they will maintain how to reach completeness and unity within themselves. If they cannot adopt accordingly, the integrity of the person can be affected negatively. The environment is defined as conditions, circumstances, and influences that affect human's development and behavior as an adoptive system. The environment is a stimulus or input that requires a person to adopt. This stimuli can be positive or negative. Nursing plays a vital role in assisting individuals who are sick or will to respond to a variety of new stressors move toward optimal well-being, and improve the quality of their lives through adaptation. The Roy Adaptation Model provides an effective framework for addressing the adaptive needs of individuals, family, and groups. Here is an example of the application of adaptation model in a clinical setting. Monica, a 30-year-old female, was brought to Chonghua Hospital yesterday. She was diagnosed with COVID-19. She is experiencing labor and difficulty in breathing and loss of sense of taste. She is having chills and has a complaints of frequent high fever. She verbalized, Before I was admitted, I used to eat a lot, but I have since lost my appetite for I cannot taste the food. Please help me. Don't let me die. Physiologic mode. Assessment of behavior. Patient claim. Before I was admitted, I used to eat a lot, but I have since lost my appetite for I cannot taste the food. Please help me. Don't let me die. Assessment of stimuli. Focal stimulus. COVID-19. Contextual stimulus. Pregnancy labor. Difficulty in breathing. Loss of sense of taste, having chills, frequent high fever, residual stimulus, anxiety. Possible nursing diagnosis. Possible exposure to the virus that causes COVID-19. Altered nutrition due to disease process. Anxiety associated with the unknown etiology of the disease. Impaired breathing pattern related to shortness of breath. Oxygenation, sufficient compensation period, balanced ventilation period, elimination, urinary tract infection risk, rest and protection, sleep disturbance risk, balance risk. Present nursing diagnosis, serious symptoms of COVID-19, anxiety, time to parturition, nursing intervention, COVID, adjusting room temperature, eliminating excess clothing and covers using color mattresses. Isolation room should be well marked with limited access. All who enter the restricted access room should use personal protective equipment such as masks and gowns. Providing more information about COVID-19 and its management to the patient. Reducing fever. Restoring normal respiratory patterns. Maintain a clear airway. Admission care. Positioning. Elevate the head of the patient. Respiratory monitoring. Infection protection. Vital signs monitoring. 
teach patient relaxation techniques and breathing exercises. Pregnancy, social and emotional support, frequent vaginal exams, bed rest and recumbent position, Maintain patient comfort during hospitalization and satisfy their needs timely. Nurse evaluation. The patient successfully prevented the spread of infection to family, the community, or to healthcare staff. The patient learned more about COVID-19 and its management. The patient had improved body temperature levels, restoration to normal breathing patterns, and has reduced anxiety. The patient has also given birth safely.